Welcome back. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, could I ask all the young researchers, the faculty, Brazilian and Japanese, that were the Brazilian and Japanese members, to come here so Marcelo could take a picture with everybody? Please. <laughs> so uh, all the, uh, the 28 young researchers that I introduced, the Brazilian and Japanese, the mentors, Brazilian and Japanese mentors. Okay. we can begin with the afternoon presentations and I'd like to call uh, Dr. Flavio Luciano Botelho do Amaral uh, presenting EGCG incorporation into etch and rinse adhesives flexural strength and bone strength. Dr. Uh, Flavio do Amaral is a prof uh, assistant professor of São Leopoldo Mandic uh, Institute of Research of São Paulo, Campinas, São Paulo. Thank you so much, Dr. Flava, for coming. And Good afternoon. I would like to thank uh, Mar Professor Marcelo Giannini and all professors and mentors that are involved in this event. Uh, my name is Flavia Amaral, and I'm from São Leopoldo Mandic Institute and Research Center in Campinas, São Paulo. Uh, and today I'm going to present you the following uh, in vitro study EGCG incorporation into etching rings adhesive, flexure strength, and bone strength. These are all uh, people researchers involved in our study. Uh, as we know, the adhesive system can be classified according to their strategy 
in etching rings or self etching ones. Uh, independently of the strategy, the aim is to form the hybrid layer described first by Nakabayashi. But we have some problems or concerns about this hybrid layer, mainly with the so-called etching rings adhesives. There are the incomplete encapsulation of the mineralized collagen fibrils, and in a second moment, the hydrolytic degradation of hybrid layer within time. This will consequently leave exposed collagen and unprotected collagen at the bottom of the hybrid layer. There is vulnerable to enzymatic degradation by host-derived MMPs, the matrix metalloproteinases, and cysteine catepsins. Uh, the MMPs are proteases secreted as uh, pro, uh, inactive proenzymes that can be activated at lower pH, like when we proceed with acid conditioning, but they function best at neutral pH. Then we have the buffering system acting. Uh, the activation promotes degradation of extracellular matrix components in many biological and pathological processes. And you can say here the periodontal disease carries and for us in the adhesion process, they will degrade that exposed collagen. There is very important for us uh, in, for the bone durability of restorations. One of the strategies is to inhibit this MMPs activity. The most studied substance is the chlorhexidine, which is a synthetic MMP inhibitor and we, the literature shows that it does not interfere in immediate bone strength and reduces time-dependent uh, matrix degradation, what in turn uh, can make restoratives more durable. These results are from in, vi in, vivo, in vivo studies and also from uh, recent meta-analysis of in vitro studies. We are trying to study now another MMP inhibitor that is the green tea that is widely uh, used as a drink, but is a natural MMP inhibitor. And then later we discovered by literature that it has cross-linker properties by the presence of a special catechin named epigallocatechin gallate. And then we start doing and reading studies, studies with this substance. And we know that the dentin pretreatment with commercial available uh, green tea, or the green tea extract, or the ECG solution, there is the main compound of green, green tea, prevented bone strength over time, the reduction of bone strength. That was very exciting for us. But then in a second moment, we, we, we thought about incorporating this EGCG into the adhesive. And we have some studies in literature that shows that its incorporation is efficient in keeping bone strain stable over, it, over time, in sound denting, and that its incorporation did not alter degree of conversion or flexure strength of the adhesive. But we have another denting substrate that is very important for us, that is the caries effect denting. There is a very relevant substrate for adhesion, and it has a large amount of MMPs and is the substrate that is more susceptible the, to hydroly hydrolytic degradation over time. And there are, there are a few studies that evaluation the effect of EGCG incorporation, the epigallocatechin, to the adhesive on bone strength to carry affected denting. So we had the proposition here to evaluate how incorporating the EGCG into a two-step etching rings adhesive would affect flexure strength of the adhesive, long-term microtensile bone strength to carry affected denting, and micromorphology of the adhesive interface by same analysis. 
For the microtensile bound strain, we had sound third molars that had the enamel removed and flattened with uh, water abrasive papers to produce uh, a denting surface at the middle third. Then for the carries protocol induction, we had to seal apses of roots. Firstly, we did that with resin composite. Then after we did with um, uh, epoxy resin, sorry, and nail varnish that are re resistant to water to leave just the denting surface exposed for the carries protocol. This carries protocol was described in literature uh, by Sanab and colleagues, and that's uh, the protocol you use it here. Uh, that consistently brief to individually merge the, the teeth in cryogenic solution for 14 days to produce infected denting surfaces. After that, we remove this infected denting with manual instruments to keep the affected denting available for adhesion. Then you had, after this, the adhesive procedures that consisted of acid condition the surface for 15 seconds washing and gently dry, drying. Then you have the treatments that consisted of uh, pre-treating pre -treating the denting with EGCG solution at a concentration of 2,000 micromolars per ml. What if you, cal you calculate this, it gives a percentage of 0.02. Or the pretreatment work done with chlorhexidine, what we, what we did here for a control, because it's the most studied substance. We applied the solution for uh, 60 seconds, uh, v uh, 20 microliters, and then we performed adhesion procedures as manufacturer's structures uh, um, set uh, should, should be done. The other group was the EGCG incorporation. And firstly, we bought all the EGCG were bought from Sigma but the incorporation was firstly done by making an alcoholic EGCG solution that was incorporated and diluted into the adhesive to a final concentration of 2,000 micrograms per uh, ml, which was done. This concentration was chosen by the study of Du and colleagues uh, described in literature. The control group had any denting pretreatment and any incorporation in the adhesive. After each pretreatment, the resin tooth blocks were uh, constructed with resin composite, which were considered the experimental units, and we had 10 experimental units per group. After 24 hours in water, uh, we had bean shaped specimens for the microtensile bone strain. And then we have another subgroups here, the water storage periods. There was immediate testing after cutting beans, six months of water storage, and 12 months of water storage. After ending of each period, we performed microtensile bone strain with a crosshead speed of 0 0.5 millimeters per minute and then data in MPA was submitted to two way ANOVA for randomized blocks and two case tests at a, at a 0 0.05 significance level. The failure patterns were described in percentage and the same analysis of the adhesive interface was always done in a qualitative manner. For flexure resistance, we had only two groups the group where the EGCG was incorporated into the adhesive, and the control group that had nothing incorporated. For this testing, we had bar-shaped specimens that we not follow ISO standards, but we follow a, a described literature for uh, testing flexure strength with adhesives. And the three-point bending uh, flexure strength test was performed. As we had two groups, we submitted data to T-students test 
at a 0.05 significance level. The more simple results here are the flexure strength, whereby the p-value, we observe that there are, there are no statistical difference between groups. That means we can incorporate it, consider this property, and that is a, in agreement with previous studies. And now we are trying to make other uh, properties evaluation, like degree of conversion, water sorption, and solubility, to confirm this. For the microtensile, microtensile bond strength, we had no significant effect of the main factors. The interaction of the main factors are not significant. So we had a look at the main factors is isolatedly, where we had a statistical significance. And that's why we should look at the grand mean, because we, not, we did not have a significant interaction, but the main factors proved to be significant. In the bone strength values, we found that regardless of denting treatment, uh, bone strength was superior or was higher in the 24 hours period. Then a significant decrease was observed after uh, six months and 12 months of water storage. And that uh, the higher bone strengths considering treatments were observed with the EGCG pretreatment, but these values were not different from the control group, NET, and the EGCG incorporation group. But we had uh, lower bone strength values for the chlorhexidine group, which were significantly different from the others. For this, we, ha we are trying to explain the results now discussing that all the, the results that had beneficial effects with the EGCG were performed on sound denting. And we had a different substrate here. The carries affected denting there is more prone to hydrolytic degra degradation. Then now you're trying to find alternative concentrations of EGCG that can be enough or can provide beneficial effects on this substrate. And trying to do other methodologies to, to see that like nanoleakage, evaluation, or in situ zymography. zymography. The chlorhexidine show a lower bone strength. Uh, what is on, what is not, uh, is opposed to the results of a recent meta-analysis of in vitro studies, but they included in this meta-analysis only studies performed on sound denting and excluded the caries effect or, uh, with uh, extracted carried teeth. So the results are uncomparable. In another study of Carvalho in colleagues, no beneficial effect of chlorhexidine was observed in caries affected denting too. And we have it difficult to, uh, to get slabs for same analysis specifically in this group of chlorhex chlorhexidine. The other time we put the, the slab into the microscope, there was a, a large gap and we, we had to, to repeat the procedure, the adhesive, the storage, and you did not have much success with chlorhexidine and caries affected denting with this study. The failure pattern showed uh, an increased adhesive failure type according to the time of water storage for all groups except, excepting the EGCG incorporated, which showed uh, besides uh, the adhesive mixing and cohesive, cohesive, cohesive resin failures. Our results of same analysis showed no significant difference between the treatments and water storage periods. That's why trying to perform other evaluations such as nano leakage and repeating that we have very difficult to get his labs for the chlorhexidine group but no uh, difference between treatments. They were able to uh, form the hybrid layer and resin tags. 
We can conclude from, from this study that flexure strain was not affected by the incorporation of the EGCG into the ad dental adhesive system, the two-step one studied here, etching rings. Bond strain to carries affected denting was not affected by adding EGCG to the two-step etching rings adhesive or using the, this substance as a denting pretreatment, while the application of corexidin had a negative interfe uh, interference. None of these denting treatments we propose here were able to prevent bond strain decrease to carries affected dentin over time. And the micromorphology of the adhesive interface did not differ among denting treatments or time of water storage. I'd like to thank you for seeing, watching my presentation. And this is the school I work. I'm professor at São Leopoldo Mandique Institute. I invited everyone that uh, does not know this institution, does not meet there yet, to, to come, and we will be, be very welcome there. My email for, for any doubts or, or talking or about the study. Thanks. Congratulations, Dr. Amaral. You're taller than me. <laughs> of course. Uh, does anyone have any questions? Thank you very much for the nice presentation. Thanks. So I have a, a question about the uh, carious affected denting you uh, made. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, I know the uh, artificial carious affected denting is very difficult to make. And uh, from uh, the uh, sh intact denting, so you use the um, carious gen genic solution uh, yes. to deminize and uh, get the uh, infected denting. And from the uh, infected denting, how to obtain the carrier affected denting in your method? How carry? Yeah. How to create the carrier affected denting? Okay, we perform a microbiological um, procedure that was based on a, a previous studies that consists of a, a solution that involves 2% streptococcus mutans and sucrose in, in a BHI uh, solution. There are uh, some ingredients that make this solution. And the, the surface that is uh, produced is very softened. We have to take care during caries removal to, does, to do not expose the pupal chamber. Yeah, so that's this procedure is very important. So how to remove the uh, soft tissue? With a hand excav excavator, because if you, we perform with uh, births, then the, the tattoo uh, will be more difficult to stop uh, in the caries affected dentin, and we maybe remove ex uh, extra tissue then you carefully remove the with uh, an exav excavator. excavator. Uh, regarding to that same question, how, how did you differentiate between the caries infected dentin and caries affected by the texture with hand instrument? Yes, by texture and by hardness. The infected one was very easy to remove uh, and the, in the affected, they look like powder when you start to remove, and then in, at this moment, we stop it and perform adhesive procedures. Then the surface of the dentin may not be so flat, very irregular surface, you bonded? Yeah, we, we try to uh, make the more regular as possible, but we didn't use any bird to, to make this just by handing, hand excavation. But at, we can think that the surface is not too flat as when you polish. Okay. And another question is, 
Um, uh, I, I'm sorry, I could not catch the information about the fracture site after the long-term storage in water. Mm -hmm. Did you confirm it? If, if it was it uh, really the, in the site of the um, hybrid layer or at inside of the hybrid layer? This. So, so fracture site after the after the. Uh, long the time fractured yes. bathroom. Yes, uh, we we observed in a stereo microscope under forty mag uh, times magnification. So, if this instrument, we cannot s uh, be certain that the adhesive failure was inside the hybrid layer or uh, below or. If, if uh, the deterioration of the collagen layer is uh, really happens. Uh, the structure at that site should be increased after at the, the bottom. Water, yes, at the bottom of the hybrid layer. Then that's why I, I think we should uh, add it with this study with nano leakage evaluations to see where this uh, weak link is happening at the bottom or inside or at the top. That we cannot answer with this work. Okay. Thank you. Anyone else? <laughs> Sorry. So I'd like to thank Dr. Flavia Maral and ask Dr. Cynthia to give her the certificate. Thank you so much. <laughs> the case is still here. <laughs> Nobody wants this case. Okay. <laughs> Before we go on, I'd like to call Dr. Luis Calicio and Dr. Marcelo Quirillos to give Dr. Tagami a very special present for, from their own. Could you please come over here to take pictures? <laughs> Look. Uh, Dr. Luis Calicio and Dr. Marcelo Quirillos, along with Dr. Moreira, uh, they are from a clinical group in Sao Paulo. They are practitioners, excellent practitioners and cosmetic dentistry, and they have a special uh, chapter on adhesives, and they like to present Dr. Tagami with this chapter. They didn't want to come over here, okay? Uh, Dr. Janine insisted, so. <laughs> From Ateneo Oral, the book for Dr. Tagami. <laughs> Besides, Dr. Luis Calicho was a former student from this, this university, so <laughs> it's a pleasure to have you here with us. It's a privilege to have the group with us. Thank you so much. Okay, and now moving forward, the next presenter of the, the afternoon is Dr. Judy Hayashi that will present 
3D assessment of adhesive to resin cement gap formation by SSOCT. Dr. Hayashi is a clinical staff of the Graduate School of Medical and Dental Sciences of Tokyo Medical and Dental University. So, please come over. Thank you so much, Dr. Hayashi, for the presentation. You're welcome here. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Juri Hayashi, a visiting lecturer of cardiology and operative dentistry, Tokyo Medical and Dental University. Uh, when I was a PhD graduate student, I have worked in the department of Professor Tagami and Professor Nikaido. Uh, some Brazilian doctors um, <laughs> have visited in our department, like Alicia and Patricia. <laughs> and currently, we have some students from Brazil, Gabriel, Rose, and Anna. The center, uh, not the center. He is my direct supervisor, Professor Sadao Alireze. Now uh, he is the assistant uh, associate professor uh, of the uh, University of Washington. And Professor Marcel Giannini also visited in our university in several times and given the lecture about his fantastic activities to us. At first, let me offer my congratulations on opening such a wonderful joint congress under the friendship between Brazil and J Japan. I appreciate Professor Marcelo Giannini and <laughs> Professor Juni Tagami and other organizers for bringing me to the beautiful city. Today, I would like to share our current research about the 3D assessment of adhesive resin cement gap formation by SSOCT. Advances in two adhesive resin based materials have led to the dynamic development of restorative dentistry in terms of minimal invasive, aesthetic, time saving, and high mechanical property, which can be achieved by good operability and color compatibility, high translucency, and light activated polymerization characters. Still, there are huge benefits. In resin-based materials, the polymerization shrinkage inevitably originates within the material by cross-linking of polymer chains. In the direct resin composite restoration, the development of contraction stresses in bonded cavity uh, directly results in into facial gaps, fractures, hypersensitivity, secondary carriers, and devoning. In spite of the fact that the volumetric shrinkage associated with increase of contraction force is a common characteristic of resin-based materials, there has been few discussion related to this concern in indirect restoration cemented by resin cement. One publication shows the volumetric shrinkage of resin cement is around 1.8 to 5.3%, which may be unignorable in narrow space between teeth and restoration. So, we should consider about the effect of resin cement volumetric shrinkage to these clinical unacceptable conditions like fractures, marginal discoloration, and secondary carriers. As Professor Tagami and Prof uh, Dr. Makishi already introduced, 
uh, stress source of decoherence tomography, shortly SSOCT, can monitor the internal structure non-destructivity through the laser wave interference of the backscatter light. Because of the high biological safety and immediacy, it has been employed for clinical diagnostic applications in medical fields. Professor Sadawali Rezer demonstrated that the interfacial gaps between composite and tools could be detected as a white line in submicron order by using SSLTT. Thanks to his works, we currently achieved 3D assessment of volumetric shrinkage and interfacial gaps in real time for the first time in the world. So, we conceived that this non-destructive, non-radiated, real-time 3D method would be useful for gap evaluation of resin-based material, sorry, resin-based cement. Regarding the hot topics in current restorative dentistry, advances in digital impression technology and manufacturing processes have led to the widespread use of CAT CAM system. Compared to traditional dental restoration method, CAT CAM technology offered improved predictability of outcomes, avoided uncomfortable physical impression, time-consuming time -consuming stone cast modeling, manual designing, and construction. Also, while design software for many CAD CAM systems allow the specification of the pre-cementation space, the final results are often not as well controlled as expected. Internal misfits, which lead to interfacial gaps and cement cracks, can be fatal disadvantages. These days, self-adhesive dual curl resin cements have been increasingly marketed for meeting clinical demands. These simple operations without tooth treatment can provide low technical sensitivity and shorten of shear time. Furthermore, some literatures have said that these materials showed equal bone strength and mechanical properties to conventional resin cement. However, there is no report about comprehensive clinical relevant evaluation of this kind of dream-like materials. So, we have worked in this study to investigate gap formation under indirect restoration cemented by a dual cure self-adhesive cement quantitatively by SSOCT. In this study, we evaluated a dual cure adhesive cement system, GSM1, which contained the function, fun, functional monomer, MDP. Depends on the situation, the manufacturer recommends additional use of adhesive enhancing primer for tooth application. It contains functional monomer, MDP and MDTP, and polymerization accelerator. This is a specimen setting diagram. One millimeter thickness of CAT CAM hybrid ceramic disc ceras mud was treated by sandblasting, ultrasonication, phosphoric acid etching, and sealing coupling agent. Flat bovine dentin surfaces were prepared by 600 silicon carbide paper provisioning and on the surface, Teflon O-ring spacer was fixed in the purpose of setting thickness of cement as 100 micrometer or 200 micrometer. In this study, we evaluated the performance of the resin cement in eight groups with three factors. Cement thickness, application of adhesive enhancing primer to dentin, and waiting time before light curing. In all specimens, the ceramic treatments, cement mixing and filling into spacer, ceramic sealing and LED light curing were performed in the same manner. 
The different points is, uh, are whether adhesive enhancing primary will apply to dentin or not. The ceramic thickness was 100 micrometer or 200 micrometer. And after seeding ceramics, light radiation was performed immediately or after 60 seconds. During light curing, the inner movement was monitored by OCT2D videos in real time. And after 10 minutes, OCT3D data were acquired. These are 3D imaging devices and analysis software used in this study. OCT3D data was reconstructed and evaluated quantitatively by AMILA software. For confirming the gap location, specimens were sectioned and observed by confocal laser scanning microscope in 2D and also 3D mode. I will show you some real-time videos. In this specimen, 200 micrometer thickness cement on dentin without primal application is light cured immediately after ceramic adaptation. During the light curing, gaps developed throughout whole interfaces between cement and dentin. This is the case which primary was applied to dentin and light cured immediately after ceramic adaptation. During light curing, some gaps appeared on dentin but finally they didn't develop throughout whole the interface. This is the last video. Dentin primal application was already finished. After leaving for 60 seconds, light cure was performed. Small gap formation uh, on dentin. But it showed little development during the observation. They are OCT to the images and the COSM conformatory to the images for two groups. In 200 micrometer and P0 second groups, high magnification COSM images at the corresponding OCT high signal area here at the interface between cement and dentin showed about 30 micrometer wide gaps. In 200 micrometer EP 60 second group, COSM images at the corresponding of OCT low signal area here, here, uh, at the interface between cement and dentin showed narrow umbra line. COSM 3D mode is a powerful tool for understanding the gap appearance. It shows sorry. It shows perfect searing performance between the uh, cement and dentin. Uh, it showed the narrow umbra line in 2D mode. Of course, at the gap area here, 3D COSM showed clearly the lack of the data. OCT 3D data were reconstructed by AMELA software. In all specimens, all high signal area indicate gaps were observed at the interface between cement and dentin not the ceramic and cement. So in this study, 
only the interfaces between cement and dentin were selected as interest regions. The right area indicates gaps. This 3D observation has been impossible with com conventional cross-sectional observation and the microscopies. Do you think that this specimen, this specimen is uh, successful even if we can get the high bone strength only in this part? Or can you accept the, this condition here? Even if you cannot detect gaps in this cross section, We believe that OCT 3D visualization method is easier for understanding compared to conventional observation and the bone strength test. Gap area present in whole area of the interface between cement and dentin was calculated by a mirror. And this is the result. Three-way ANOVA suggested all the three factors and their interactions significantly affected F-value. F-value shows uh, primary application had the most significant influence. Gap-free specimens were observed only in 100 micrometer EP 60 second group which show the best selling performance. Discussion. In this study, gap formation during the curing was exclusively observed at the interface between the cement and dentin. This result can be explained by the direction of shrinkage vectors toward light source, which was already demonstrated with light cure resin composite. On the other hand, the result we reported in last IADR in San Francisco that one dual cure resin composite showed perfect searing performance at the cavity bottom. This result provides a new point of view, time. The previous tested material which showed perfect searing required waiting for 90 seconds before light curing. In our current study, waiting for 60 seconds before light curing can reduce the gap formation significantly. From this result, we can say that maturing chemical cross-linking at the interface, which can resist against the shrinkage with light curing, needs some time. Take a cement shows larger volumetric shrinkage in closed space of, of, of course. It directly affected to the amount of gap formation. Regarding the primer, they could remove the smear layer on the dentin interface so that functional monomer could penetrate it deeper in dentin. Additionally, the accelerator contained in primer could enhance cross-linking network at the interface. Conclusion. The adhesive cement showed various degree of gap formation under the tested conditions. Two primer application dramatically improved the searing performance compared to the self-adhesive mode. Thinner cement layer and waiting time before light curing of the dual cure resin cement could reduce gap formation. Thank you for your kind attention. Obrigado. That's good. Uh, does anyone have questions for him? Uh, congratulations, Judy. Thank you for your beautiful and very interesting presentation. Obrigado. Uh, I don't know if I missed this information, but uh, have you applied some load during the cementation when you just put the the um, the block 
in the denting, have you applied some force as we is recommended in the literature for cementation process? Mm -hmm. Thank you, uh, thank you for the questions. Uh, in this study, we didn't uh, make any pressure uh, during the uh, uh, ceramic adaptation and also the uh, light curing because in clinical situation, we cannot uh, make the pressure uh, onto the ceramics uh, during the light curing, right? Actually, we, we do some pressure to avoid bubbles in the interface. Okay. And in some mm. researches, we also apply um, during the um, photo activation. So, so, so do you think uh, it might have interfered with your results? Uh, actually, I had some real-term video of uh, OCT observation uh, when I make the pressure onto the ceramic and uh, uh, re remove the pressure. Uh, in the uh, cement, very big defect can occur. Okay, hmm. thank you very much. Thank you very much for your presentation. It was beautiful and a very well done work. So congratulations. Uh, I think I missed some point around Amira software because mm -hmm. I'm not so used to that. Mm -hmm. um, do, how, how did you calculate the gap area in that image that you showed in 3D? Do you, do you use the Amira software or how, how do, you, do you perform that? I can recreate the gap formation on the mirror software. Uh, conventionally, the uh, on the OCT 2D images, uh, you can can recreate the gap lengths mm -hmm. by image software, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. But in a mirror software, we can get the uh, 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 the uh, the rate of the. Uh, area and also the volumetric uh, information. Okay. And uh, do you know how long does it take to calculate one sample, for example? Uh, about the time? Yes. Uh, depends on the... <laughs> <laughs> uh, de depends on the... Uh, uh, maybe... Um, Techniques are uh, not techniques, uh, yeah, but uh, yes, <laughs> because I remember it was quite difficult to to work with ah, that yeah, software. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it took like almost one one week to make one one <laughs> sample really? for me. Yeah. <laughs> for me, it takes uh, about twenty minutes. Wow, so fast. Okay, <laughs> maybe I should go back to learn something. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And I want to say very thanks to uh, Professor Braga and uh, Professor Heiss, Leis. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> in Japan, I had studied a lot of things uh, from the uh, very beautiful literatures uh, uh, from from you, so thank you so much. Thank you so much and congratulations and here's your certificate. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so much. Now, our next presenter is Dr. Atsushi Mini, uh, presenting the current status of bonding in the prosthodontic field based on the citation. Uh, Dr. Mini 
is the assistant professor of graduate school of dentistry of Osaka University in Japan. And I'd like to thank to Dr. Tsushimini for coming, it's okay. Okay, now, now we have Dr. Tsushimini presenting. <laughs> now he's ready. Thank so, you so much. <laughs> Thank you for waiting. So, uh, and uh, thank you for introduction. Okay. Something is B B B B B B. Okay. B B B. Okay. Let's start. Botarji. Botarji. Thank you. Oh. Ah. Just say botarji, but. Uh, Thank you so much, and uh, I'm very happy to be here. And uh, I'm, I should say, uh, thank you, uh, all of you, and especially uh, Dr. Jani and uh, Dr. Tagami and Dr. Nikaido. Uh, I s again say thank you from my bottom of my heart. So I want to start my presentation. Okay, so. I know uh, you understand uh, what this this is, and uh, this is a map, world map, and uh, here is Brazil. We are here, and uh, just I want to say we uh, from we come came from the other side of the earth, and uh, this is a map, and uh, this is a one more indication. So this is a f the first point from this. So this is a Japan island, and especially west side of Japan is uh, to completely the other side of this earth. So we took uh, more than one day to come here. And who, who already came to the Japan? Who already been to Japan? Ah, so, so very few. Okay, so please come uh, next time. Uh, I want to show the uh, Japan uh, food, near Japan food. <laughs> yes. Okay, uh, I want to make more time to introduce myself. And uh, my name is Atsushi Mine. And uh, last night, uh, someone already heard this about, uh, heard this story. Uh, this is, uh, you know, sushi, so Japanese food. So my name is Atsushi. So one piece of sushi is uh, almost my name. So, a uh, sushi. So, please remember me. Remember it. A uh, sushi. So, uh, my, it, 
In fact, Atsushi is my name, but the Atsushi is okay. So many, many of my friends, Brazilian friends, call me Atsushi. So it's okay. And uh, my family name is Mine. It's not mine. It's, uh, so my, it's, it's not my, my sushi. But so, so it's uh, meaning, uh, 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 the pronunciation is uh, Mine. So in fact, it's a uh, mine in, in Japanese. Uh, it means uh, top of the top part of the mountain. But since I'm I'm small, so it's, uh, my my fa family name is okay. So no no need to remember it. Okay, and uh, I graduate uh, Okayama University, and uh, now I'm in Osaka University. So this is uh, just after I finished the PhD course. And my face is a little bit big and round. Maybe it's a very st uh, stressful uh, life, a stressful time uh, for me uh, about the PhD course. And uh, this is a uh, uh, picture of the 2012. Uh, Mariko is uh, here. And uh, we start the research in Osaka University. And at the moment, there is nothing in the room. It's very clean, but now it's very dirty. And uh, I said Okayama and Osaka. So this is a map, and again, so here it's uh, Japan. It's f maybe for you it's a strange map, the Japan is the center, but uh, we, we use this map normally. And uh, <laughs> this is the shape of uh, Japan. I like this shape. And uh, here, Oh, sorry. Uh, he, here, this is a part of the west side. And uh, you can find Osaka and Okayama here. And uh, my father and mother grew, uh, grew up in, in Nihama, so Ehime. So, so this place is uh, very important for me. And uh, this morning, Anna already showed this place. It's the center of the Ruben. It's a very uh, beautiful city hall. And the uh, Fonske is here. And this is a very important picture. And uh, first time, yeah. first group photo. Yeah. So, and uh, here, Asushi Mine is here. And uh, yeah, Arini is here. Arini, yes, she's my best friend. And uh, uh, this meeting is very nice to meet. Uh, very nice to meet her again. So, and uh, I studied about chocolate in Belgium, and uh, food also, and especially beer. <laughs> so this time I. Enjoy the uh, Dama beer, uh, but uh, in Belgium they also have a nice beer. But uh, in fact, I studied uh, adhesive dentistry at there for three years. And Professor Van Wierbeek and uh, Dr. Uh, Jan de Munch, uh, both of them are quite nice and very kind. See, this is uh, my first paper. So, so Professor and uh, Jan it changed so much, and I studied a lot. <laughs> See the third page, so every, everything's changed. It was so nice. <laughs> and uh, this is a picture with Jan's family and the Bart's family, and uh, this is a wedding ceremony of me. And uh, at the moment, uh, Professor Van Mierbeek and uh, Dr. Jan de Munch uh, also joined our uh, wedding party in Okayama. And uh, this is a picture with my uh, wife. And uh, you can find the interesting thing, a DNA, uh, from this picture. So this is a big view. And uh, this is uh, my wife's mother. And uh, this is my mother. So see? The we are uh, totally sa same smile, same smile. So, but the point is, uh, my wife, she Ellie, I think she's laughing, smiling. But uh, I hope she's happy now. Okay. 
so, so this is my introduction. introduction. And uh, this time, uh, I want to talk to you about adhesive dentistry, special, especially the field of the prosthodontics. And uh, I want to talk about uh, from the past things. In the past, to get the uh, manuscript, we, go to, we went to the library and we used a copy machine. And we got, a, we got a paper manuscript. But now, we uh, find the manuscript uh, on my desk, your desk. I don't know your desk is uh, like this or like this. Maybe Professor Takami's desk is like, like this. <laughs> and my desk, desk is uh, one, one, of, one of them. One of them. So it's Japanese style. So I, I hope I hope your your desk is in between or like, like this. <laughs> and of course we can get a manuscript uh, in the, your desk on your desk. So print out. And nowadays, uh, tablet you can use it. Uh, you can read a paper with a tablet. And the future, maybe something different things is coming. But uh, in this moment we don't know. So this is a research gate. Who uses a research gate normally? Ah, so many. So research gate is quite a nice system. And uh, sometimes uh, people ask me to get, uh, get our manuscript. And uh, normally I send the manuscript as soon as possible. And uh, student, students in Osaka University, they also do it. So they can get the uh, manuscript very easily. So now I want to shift to how to find a manuscript. Of course, uh, people use uh, PubMed. It's a database from the data in the Medline. And the uh, Embase, it's not familiar, but uh, it's a data from the Elsevier. So this is a PubMed page, and uh, this is my this is a list of my publication. And uh, luckily, I have a, a JDL paper in this year. And uh, last month, we got uh, two more paper. And here, it's uh, Nanako's paper is indicated. So it's also JDL paper. And uh, in PubMed, you can. Um, sort like uh, this, uh, most recent uh, and the best match like this. But we cannot get uh, the citation, how many times this paper is uh, used to the, the other paper. We cannot find it. So how to find a good, uh, good manuscript? So I already told you uh, the citation is quite nice, very important. Uh, factor, and of course, you know you all of you, you know the impact factor. But impact factor is a uh, number for the journal, N not paper, not each paper. And nowadays we can find the number of the citation of each paper when you use a uh, uh, web of science. Who knows uh, web of science? Who use level, level of science? OK, so it's easy to uh, explain. Now it was uh, from, in the past, it's, it was from the Thomson Reuters, but now uh, Clarivet Analytics, uh, they make this system. They, they keep this uh, system. And uh, this is also the list of my publication. And uh, number one citation paper is uh, first also is uh, Professor Famia Big, and the number is very, sorry, very small, uh, 324. So it's uh, quite uh, high number, and this too is a very high number, uh, high number. And uh, this is uh, about uh, all of adhesive dentistry. We, I put the keyword adhesion and uh, or bonding, so it means so many paper 
And the most cited paper is the, they ind indicated uh, 887. But in fact, they don't put the uh, Bono Coors paper, JDR paper, uh, 1955. And uh, they, I asked them, and uh, they, they have that number, but uh, they cannot indicate in, in this. So that uh, paper, the citation number is more than 1,000. So the best one is, should be the uh, Bono Coors uh, paper, uh, 1955. Uh, JDR. And uh, this is a very important slide for today. So this is a country name, and uh, this is a record uh, number. So this means uh, uh, research in USA uh, have uh, 5,839 uh, paper, and the second one is Brazil. So you have uh, so many paper. The, and the third place is uh, Japan. So these two countries, Brazil and uh, Japan, is quite important uh, in the field of uh, adhesive dentistry. And when we check that data in detail, uh, the second person is uh, Professor uh, Tagami. It's a uh, number of the paper is uh, 370. Th this data is from February of this year. So it's, uh, the real number is, uh, I think it's more, but uh, at the moment, it's uh, 370. I, and I put red color for Japanese and the green color for Brazil. So, so don't you think there are so many researchers uh, from uh, Japan and uh, Brazil, especially the, this, list, this list? And then Nikaido Sensei is here, and uh, Dr. Janini is here. Dr. Janini is ah, here. <laughs> OK. And uh, next page. Yes, uh, Dr. Berg here, and the uh, important thing is Asushi is <laughs> here. And uh, I have three more paper, so maybe uh, my rank is uh, not down, it's maybe uh, up. Okay. And uh, again, uh, research gate, we can find the citation number. So uh, research gate is quite a nice system, and uh, I like this uh, very much. So let's shift to the topics about the prosontic. Of course, uh, if we make uh, inlay, unlay, and crown, we have to use uh, cement. And there's a two interface between tooth and the cement, and uh, cement and uh, restoration. And uh, for restoration, there's a similar material we can use. And uh, this is a book uh, came this year. And uh, I involved the committee to, I involved the group to make uh, this book. And this book is quite nice. Uh, we use uh, 13 keywords and uh, find a uh, good paper. So good paper means uh, that paper have uh, many citation. And uh, I want to sh explain, I want to show you these uh, three uh, keywords. This is a simple data. It's a number of manuscript paper about the bonding to metal. The, this line is 80 papers. And the, this three graph is the same, so 80 uh, papers. So metal, about metal uh, tendencies like this. I'm a little bit surprised because uh, nowadays we don't use uh, new metal. So I thought the number is more 
not so high like this, but uh, reality is uh, like this. Now about porcelain, it's uh, all not so big difference, but a big difference is uh, for zirconia. So zirconia, of course, we don't have zirconia in, the, in the dentistry, but now we have so many paper uh, about zirconia. So let's see uh, from about the keyword and metal. And this is a number one citation paper uh, at the moment. And uh, this is uh, about uh, bonding to high gold, high gold content uh, alloy. And they also use uh, Fuji one and uh, several cement, uh, Lilax Unisem and uh, Panavia also. And they conclude the, the simple things. After 40 days uh, water storage uh, followed by summer cycling. So they use the summer cycling, 5 Celsius degree and 55 Celsius degree and, uh, two for two weeks. And uh, only the self-adhesive cement and the normal resin cement. Normal resin cement means uh, using a primer for uh, denting. The both this cement uh, exhibit, uh, they show the strong uh, bond strength. But the others is not so good uh, data. It's very simple data. And about the metal, I want to show this uh, three paper. And uh, the substrate, it's mainly it's, uh, titanium for now, uh, for the research. And they also use uh, tribochemical tri uh, surface treatment. This paper also, and this paper uh, also. So for titanium, normally the tribochemical treatment is for porcelain or uh, resin. But uh, someone use, uh, use it for metal, and they show the good result. So let's move to the porcelain. And uh, this is also a nice, nice paper. It's from TMDU. Uh, Professor Tagami's name is here. And uh, the research is uh, like this. So they use uh, glass ceramic. And for cement, they use panabia. And uh, for adhesive, uh, they use uh, a seabone. And with uh, silent coupling agent and without silent coupling agent. And they conclude, yes, they conclude uh, the micro or shear bond strength between uh, glass ceramic and uh, resin cement can be increased by the silent coupling agent. So it's, uh, maybe uh, it's very, Simple but important uh, result. And uh, this is a, a number one citation paper about the porcelain. And uh, they say, uh, although the resin bonded to the shram, uh, silica, sorry, silica based uh, ceramics is well researched. Okay, so porcelain, we have uh, so many paper about the porcelain. And, uh, and uh, few uh, in vivo study on the resin bonded to uh, high strength ceramics, they said about the zirconia. So it's uh, about the paper, or the, it's about the paper uh, doing research uh, using a porcelain, but uh, they mentioned uh, also, uh, zirconia. So number of the paper for zirconia is uh, very uh, low. And this is the number one citation paper for zirconia. It's uh, 373, so very uh, large number uh, of citation. And uh, from this paper, uh, because it's uh, not so new paper, so we cannot find uh, good result data, but. Uh, I want to explain from this paper. The title of the paper is quite important. So if this uh, paper have a different 
title. I don't think the number is not so high like this. So now we have to care about the title of the paper and the keyword also to get the high number of citation for your research. And uh, this is a quite nice paper about zirconia. I think uh, we can learn so many things uh, from this paper. And uh, they use uh, zirconia. Uh, and uh, for cement, they use panavir and lilyx. So this thing. And they conclude uh, after aging, maybe, yes. Yeah. After aging, the bone strength is reduced. And uh, they say the silent coupling, silent coupling agent uh, with uh, MDP is uh, very important. So they say this kind of things. And I, and I want to show uh, this uh, paper. And, uh, it's uh, from the Journal of Adhesive Dentistry. And it's just one page. It's just one page. And we, uh, but from this one page paper, uh, we can learn so many things. And uh, this is uh, from Masanao, uh, the, the, uh, Masanao Inokoshi. And uh, I visited uh, the Ruben after I lived there. And uh, I took, uh, we took this uh, group photo. So it's uh, just in front of Anna, you can recognize it. It's just uh, outside from our lab. And uh, there's a restaurant clerk here. And uh, you can find it's uh, daytime. It's not night. And uh, you can find a uh, nice liquid <laughs> here. So don't tell, to, tell this to Professor Pamiavik. So it's, uh, it's a Friday afternoon. So we already start to drink. And uh, Yumi-san is here. Yumi-san is here. Yeah, Yumi-san is here. OK. And uh, the, what they say is about the uh, routing to zirconia. First, uh, they say three things. First, uh, they uh, said uh, tribochemical, tribochemical surface treatment is important. And, uh, but if you read in detail of this paper, maybe almost this, this part, this part, uh, they say the second choice. Second choice is uh, alumina uh, blasting. So they say the tribochemical uh, treatment is the first, and second is uh, sand blasting. And the next, uh, apply the 10 MDP uh, contained uh, silent coupling agent. So important things is uh, functional monomer, 10 MDP. And uh, the reason for using the 10 MDP, you can find the poster number 60, Kumiko-san's paper. So 60. So you can find the reason, so chemical interaction, or 10 MDP to zirconia. And uh, the third thing is uh, we have to use uh, composite cement. So it's uh, my clinical case. Uh, so inside is uh, zirconia. So we use uh, sand blast or uh, tri tribochemical surface treatment. And uh, normally, uh, I polish the margin. And I use uh, 10 MDP containing uh, silent coupling agent and uh, air blow. And uh, for inside mouth, we should, we have to uh, clean the surface uh, and uh, apply the primer and set it. And uh, who knows uh, this strange shape of the tube? Who knows this kind of system? In Brazil, it's not common. So see, it's, it's a very important part. Because this is a vital tooth, so I use a, I did an injection, and uh, this is a blood. But the blood goes to this tube straightly. So this system uh, we call zoo. So you should ch uh, check it in the website, 
and uh, zoo, it's a uh, quite simple and uh, nice system. We put zoo inside mouse like this. So if you use, uh, uh, you treat uh, this part, and uh, you uh, take off the vacuum chip and uh, put this side uh, there, and the uh, air always suck uh, uh, from this hole. And uh, when you put your mouse, it's uh, inside the mouse is um, always dried. So I mean the same situation of the room. And uh, it's a quite nice system to avoid the contamination. Uh, not only the crown treatment, so carrier treatments also you can use uh, this system. So. At the end, uh, I want to show you our OCT uh, data because uh, Dr. Hayashi Juri san uh, already explained the nice data. And uh, in the prosthetic field, uh, we also use uh, this uh, system. And especially, I checked the root canal inside root, uh, inside the tooth. And this is uh, one paper uh, with uh, my PhD student. He already graduated, but uh, at his PhD uh, study, uh, we use uh, OCT. So we want to know the interface between the root canal denting and cement. And I mean, the, we focus the tri treatment of the post-core. Post -core. And we use uh, this material, and uh, we check the inside root. And uh, this, in this uh, picture, uh, it's, it's, it's cut it. But it, the specimen it's, itself it's, uh, didn't cut. We didn't cut the specimen. So it's a non-destructive uh, observation, uh, as Dr. Hayashi explained. <coughs> And uh, this is a dentin part, and uh, this is a dentin part also. And this is a, a resin core part. And we also can find the gut part, the apical part. And here, we can find a gap and the bubble. If we compare the OCT and the micro CT with same specimen, uh, the image is like this. Maybe for dentists, the micro CT, uh, CT is easier to understand what happened uh, inside. There is a bubble in here and the gap also here. It's a micro CT image, but OCT image, it's uh, not the same. If you, ha you have uh, air, so signal, uh, we can get the high signal. So I mean the white color. So there is a gap here and the bubble, small one is a bubble. And then OCT, one merit, one important merit of OCT is uh, live image. We can get a live image. So now we put the legend here and it, now it's right cure. Apparently it's working and see. It's video. The gap is coming from here and to here. So at the first, this, uh, this means uh, without legend. So it, there's uh, air inside. So there's a, uh, we can find the high signal here. And after we put the resin composite, uh, so we can find, we cannot find uh, any signal here. But after light cures, so again, the uh, signal, we can uh, find it. So this is the same specimen, uh, and uh, this is a gap. And uh, we made uh, one centimeter, 10 millimeter depth of the post space. And this, this part is uh, from 
uh, it's uh, six millimeter uh, from the top. And first, uh, we saw the gap start from the bottom side, from this side, to upper part. But in fact, the gap start from the six millimeter part. So this is the uh, most surprising thing. So again, if we see the image, it's now it's a uh, light cure apparatus is working here, like this. So gap, we can find the gap. So this uh, image, live image, you can find uh, from uh, this paper. So nowadays, we can put a video for the manuscript. So in this manuscript, uh, we put uh, some image, uh, live image. So what do you think? Uh, there's a gap on the bottom part. So why we have to make uh, so long uh, post-core space? So I think if you have a dentin, so many dentin, we should not put a post so this is a uh, new uh, thinking way for proston apparatus. And now, no post, no core approach is coming. And uh, someone called it uh, as an uh, end crown. And the uh, end crown is like this. So post core space and the uh, crown part, is, uh, they make it uh, together. And uh, this is a very new paper uh, from last month or two months ago. And uh, they show the 10 year uh, survival rate. And data is not so good. Uh, after uh, eight years, so almost half, maybe 60% uh, survival rate. So it's not, it, we cannot say it's good, good result. But if we see the crown, uh, end crown, uh, they don't make uh, many post space. So that's one message for us. So we should not put post, but uh, this part, shape of this part inside the uh, dentin is uh, very important to avoid uh, this kind of drop. So this is a data uh, slide uh, I want to show this time. And uh, this is a member uh, of our department and uh, our group. 2012, uh, it's just only four researchers. But now we have uh, so many uh, members who are doing uh, adhesive dentistry research. And uh, we are very happy uh, to have a good uh, team. And uh, I want to explain the more data uh, if uh, I have much time. But uh, I have to finish my presentation. So thank you very much to join us. And uh, I'm very happy to be here. And uh, obrigado. so much, Dr. Mini. Mini, is that okay? Yeah. yeah it's Sorry. not mine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I'm not so sorry. Okay. Does anyone have questions for him? Sensei, yes. can, can I ask a question? Please, <laughs> why not? Thank you so much uh, for the, uh, sharing your uh, very impressive movies. Uh, mm, I want to ask the depth of the, uh, the cementation in bulk. It's, uh, what do you mean? So we mm. make uh, one centimeter post-core space 
and uh, we put the cement uh, for resin for build up, and um, uh, without uh, post. What so kind of the materials? Uh, it's a material. Uh, what's the meaning of your question? So uh, 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 I, there's want there's to, a <laughs> I want to know that the, this material is the jerkyo materials or the jerkyo material. Okay, and uh, uh, how much time uh, they spend before the light curing after the uh, uh, setting the cementation? Ah, okay, okay. Yes, uh, we in the clinic. We put the cement inside the root canal space, and uh, just after we, we use mm -hmm. the light curing. Mm -hmm. So we do the like, same as uh, clinic, mm -hmm. in clinic, so just after. Uh, okay, so maybe your question is if we wait, uh, let's say, 10 minutes and five minutes, the result is different. And also, I'm wondering uh, the the degree of conversion yes. at the uh, the dips uh, the uh, near to the bottom of the mm -hmm. uh, uh, cementation. Yeah, it should mm -hmm. be low. It mm -hmm. should be low. Uh, yes, we should we should check it. But mm -hmm. uh, I convinced the uh, the that rate is uh, not high compared to the top part. Maybe uh, you can get uh, very interesting images uh, bef uh, after 24 hours or one week or one month after the uh, right radiation. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but uh, I think the same thing. But we can wait uh, one week. Mm -hmm. So patients are on the chair one week. Mm -hmm. So we cannot wait such a long time. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason we do that, this research, uh, mm -hmm. same as uh, in clinics. Uh, in my expectation, uh, maybe uh, if the uh, perfect serving, uh, the adaptation at the bottom of the cementation, after the uh, maturing the uh, degree of conversion, uh, of, uh, the maybe the Clocks formation in inside of the cementation is occurred. Inside cement. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe. Please. Yeah, okay, <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you for you. your advice. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay. So I'm going to ask Dr. Roberto Braga to give you the certificate. Thank you so much again for the presentation. Can I yeah, can give it? It's okay. Okay, I'll hold it. Before coffee break, don't forget we have dinner tonight, okay, at Villa Italia. Uh, Gabriel is going to uh, project the, where it is it's going to be. I guess it's Villa Italia, if I'm not mistaken, okay? So for coffee break, can we go in 20 minutes and get back here in 20 minutes? Okay, let's try. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you.
Barça. E essa? Próxima. Demorou.
Alô. Alô, som. Okay, uh, moving forward the, to the next presentation, I'd like to call Dr. Noriyuki Nagaoka, who is going to present electron microscopy observation and analysis of the adhesive interface. Uh, Dr. Uh, Nagaoka is assistant professor of the Graduate School of Medicine, Dentistry, and Pharmaceutical Sciences. Uh, and I really like to welcome you to this event. Thank you so much. You can come over here. From Okayama University, I forgot that. So. Uh, I thank Professor Tagami and Professor Giannini for giving me this opportunity. I'm uh, Noriyuki Nagaoka, Okayama University. Uh, today, I'd like to talk about electron microscope observation and analysis of adhesive interface. Uh, this photo is uh, Korakuen, located in Okayama. Uh, Korakuen is a famous uh, Japanese garden. Uh, first, I'd like to introduce Okayama. Uh, Okayama is located here uh, in the cent uh, western part of Japan, center of western part of Japan. And uh, Okayama is one hour, uh, one hour away from Kyoto by Shinkansen. Uh, this photo is the uh, center of Okayama. Uh, Korakuen is here, and Okayama University Dental School is here. Um, this photo hmm, is uh, Korakuen and uh, Okayama Castle. And uh, uh, this photo is Kurashiki. Uh, Kurashiki is the city next to Okayama. And uh, in 1994 and 95, uh, Formula One was held at Okayama International Circuit. 
as uh, Pacific Grand Prix. This photo is the podium of 1994. Uh, Rubens Barrichello uh, is third place and uh, his first podium for him. And uh, the pole position of this race was Alton Senna. <clears throat> and this is uh, Okayama University Dental School. Okay. Uh, today, I'd like to talk about the electron microscopy. Uh, there are two types of electron microscopes. Uh, this is a scanning electron microscope called SEM or SEM. And a transmission electron microscope called TEM or TEM. Uh, SEM is effective uh, for observing the shape, uh, surface shape. This is the same image of mold of blue cheese. And uh, this is the same image of uh, osmium macerated spinal ganglion cell. The osmium maceration method is a useful method for imaging cellular organelles by SEM. Uh, this imaging technique developed more than 30 years ago by the group of Professor Keiichi Tanaka at Total University. Uh, in the osmium maceration method, uh, because the uh, fractured surface of the cells is observed by SEM, uh, we can stereoscopically observe the, the uh, gauge apparatus and uh, endoplasmic reticulum and mitochondria. Uh, TEM is suitable for observation of thin film specimen. This is the histology of oral pigmentation. And this is high resolution TEM image of tooth enamel. We can observe the atomus of hydroxy appetite. Uh, this is a cross-sectional TEM image of the tooth adhesive interface. Uh, dental adhesive is Creafil SC bond Kurare Noritake Dental. Anaphytic dentin and hybrid layer and adhesive resin layer were observed. I showed the image observed with increasing the magnification. Enlarge the part of the yellow frame. Also enlarge the part of yellow frame. Uh, Hydroxyapatite crystals were observed. Uh, some layer structure was observed. Magnify another yellow frame part. Uh, this layer structure is uh, self-assembled salt uh, precipitated by MDP contained in the dental adhesive and demineralized calcium. The black layer is the calcium layer. The layer spacing was 3.9 nanometers, uh, which agreed with the measurement result of X-ray diffraction. Uh, we propose this model uh, as self-assembled layer structure. The phosphate group uh, of MDP and calcium are ionically bonded. Metal metacrylate groups face each other. And uh, hydrocarbon chains are self-assembled by hydrophobic interaction. Self-assembled MDP calcium salt has low solubility in water and ethanol and precipitates immediately after application of adhesive. 
of course, uh, diffraction spots uh, corresponding to the layer spacing of 3.9 nanometers are also observed with by uh, electron diffraction pattern. Now, TEM is suitable for cross-sectioning the adhesive interface with high resolution. Uh, scanning transmission electron microscopy called STEM can perform high resolution elemental mapping. Uh, this is a schematic diagram of STEM, the part above the specimen is similar to SEM. The specimen of STEM is the same uh, thin film as the TEM specimen. The electron probe performs raster scan on the specimen like SEM. The transmitted electron beam uh, through the specimen is detected by bright field detector. Uh, the, uh, the scattered, um, elect uh, the electron beam scattered by specimen is detected by a annular dark field detector. Therefore, it is possible to take a bright field image and dark field image at the same time and STEM can perform elemental mapping by X-ray analysis to obtain image by raster scan. Uh, this is a STEM image of SC bond uh, and denting interface. This is a dark field image called Hardiff image. Uh, since it is a dark field image, it seems that the contrast is reversed from the conventional TEM image. In the Hardiff image, electrons scattered at a high angle by the specimen are detected using an annular dark field detector. Hardiff images generally give high contrast images. I will uh, enlarge the part of yellow frame increase the magnification further. Uh, we could observe the layer structure of 3.9 nanometers also in STEM. The white layer is calcium of MDTP calcium salt. Element distribution was uh, observed by STEM and X-ray spectrometer. The incident electron beam interact with the uh, atoms of specimen and radiates characteristic X-rays of energy corresponding to the element composition. X-ray microanalysis uses an energy dispersive X-ray spectrometer called EDS or EDX. The combination of STEM and EDX can observe the elemental distribution map. Now these are the element distribution maps of the SC bond and denting interface. The elemental maps of calcium and phosphorus are consistent with the distribution of dentin and MDP calcium salt. The oxygen map is correspond, uh, consistent with the distribution of dentin and MDP calcium salt and silica filler. Silicon map matches only the distribution of silica filler. Uh, the scanning electron microscope uh, produces image by scanning the specimen with an uh, electron beam. Uh, incident electron beam 
penetrates the specimen to a depth of a few microns. Depending on the acceleration, accelerating voltage and the density of the specimen. As the electrons interact with the specimen, they produce uh, secondary electrons, backscattered electrons, OJ electrons, and uh, characteristic X rays and uh, electroluminescence. These signals are collected by one or more detectors to form images with, uh, uh, which are then displayed on the computer screen. The highest resolution obtained in a SEM depends on multiple factors, like the uh, electron beam spot size and interaction volume of the electron beam. Uh, with the specimen. While it cannot provide atomic resolution, some FESM uh, can achieve resolution below one nanometer. Uh, the resolution uh, formed by backscatter electrons is limited by the accelerating voltage and spot size. Acceleration voltage affects the interaction volume between the incident electron beam and the specimen. Low accelerating voltage uh, reduces interaction volume. For this reason, the backscatter electrons are excited from a small volume. So the resolution is improved. Recent SEM can obtain compositional image by backscatter electrons even at low acceleration voltage of 500 volts or less. Composition image observation at accelerating uh, acceleration voltage of 500 volts or less can obtain resolution of 10 nanometers or less. Uh, these are same images of argon ion etched 3M lab ultimate. Uh, Love Ultimate is a CAD CAM restorative material and a composite material made of inorganic fillers and resin matrix. Same specimen is prepared by machinically mirror polishing this material and then etched with uh, argon ions. The difference in argon ion etching rate between materials creates roughness on the specimen surface. Same images is observed by the secondary electrons on the roughness uh, of the specimen surface. And normally, since the etching rate of the resin part is high, the resin part is etched deeply. Love Ultimate was uh, observed to contain several micrometer fillers. However, uh, with this method, it is difficult to observe nano-sized fillers. <clears throat> Another same observation method is to use backscattered electrons. If we observe the flat surface with uh, backscattered electrons, we can observe the composition distribution of the specimen. Uh, Cross-section polisher can obtain a flat surface without damage and distortion. Uh, this is a schematic uh, diagram of a cross-section polisher. The sealed plate uh, shielding the argon nylon beam is installed offset from the edge of the specimen by 15 to 30 microns. The flat surface is uh, obtained by grinding with argon ion beam of about two millimeters in diameter. The flat surface is carbon coated and uh, composition image is observed by backscattered electrons by SM.
These are same composition images of the flat surface processed with a cross-section polisher. The acceleration voltage of the same was observed at 5 kV. Although the acceleration voltage is high, uh, this is because Okayama University has not installed the latest SEM, which can observe backscatter uh, back electrons images uh, with an acceleration voltage of 1 kV or less. Uh, structure and composition can be observed even with observation with an acceleration voltage of 5 kV. However, the resolution is low because the accelerating voltage is not low enough. If higher resolution observation is required, uh, TEM or STEM observation is necessary. Uh, there are hard if images, uh, STEM hard if images. Uh, the observation specimen cannot be cut with a diamond knife and an outer microtome, so it was made with an argon uh, ion slicer. Uh, uh, the ion slicer can polish a specimen with argon ions and make it a thin film area that can be observed with a TEM. The high magnification image shows that silica feeders uh, having a diameter of about uh, 20 nanometers observed with great contrast and zirconia feeders of uh, 10 nanometers or less observed with white contrast are mixed. Uh, these are the same images of argon iron etched Tokuyama Dental Estelite block. Uh, Estelite block is also a CAD-CAM restorative material and composite material made of inorganic feeders and resin matrix. Same specimen is prepared by machinically mirror polishing this material and then etching with uh, argon ions. Same images is observed by the secondary electrons on the roughness of the specimen surface. This material was filled with non-sphere feeders. Uh, low magnification images show that this material is not homogeneous. Uh, the contrast of the same image seems to be due to the feeder feeding rate difference. And these are the same composition images of the flat surface processed with a cross-section polisher. The low magnification uh, same image contrast was more uniform than the observation of the specimen of argon ion etching. However, in the high magnification image, it is easy to observe the spherical feeder. And it is necessary to know that the information uh, obtained the image is uh, different by uh, sample preparation method and observation method. Uh, these are stem hard if images. Uh, this material is made mainly a spherical silica feeder with a diameter of uh, 100 to 150 nanometers. Uh, this is a cross section image of uh, tooth adhesive interface. Uh, dental adhesive is Creafil SE bond. This is the same composition image of the flat surface processed with a cross-section polisher. 
The same used for observation is the latest model. Uh, this, uh, this same image can clearly observe collagen band structure and MDP calcium salt without staining. Uh, this same image is almost the same as the TEM image when the contrast is uh, inverted. Uh, this is a cross-sectional TEM image of Clearfield SC bond interface. If you observe at this magnification, SEM and TEM image are almost the same. In observation at higher magnification, the same uh, composition image observation does not correspond to resolution of TEM. Uh, the basis of structure of vision in either light microscopy or electron microscopy is essentially recording of two-dimensional images. However, the structure of materials and biological object is by nature three-dimensional. Uh, for, spe uh, for specimens such as the dental adhesive that we study, uh, micros uh, uh, microstructure observation is required over a wide range of scales from the nanometer level to the micrometer and millimeter level. Three-dimensional and equal-constructed image observation uh, with uh, serial sectioning using a combined instrument, uh, focused ion beam called FIB and SEM. Uh, is of interest. Uh, in this technique, the surface layer of a specimen is ground by FIB. The ground layer is observed repeatedly by SAM. The point is, slice with FIB and observe with SAM and Slice with FIB and uh, observe with SEM. Uh, repeat this process to capture the same images. Uh, normally, FIB processing is performed 500 times, and 500 same images are taken accordingly. Of course, this work needs about uh, 12 hours, and it can be done automatically. And the series of same images acquire this uh, integrated by computer and reconstruct a three dimensional image. Uh, this is a cross section image of Creafield IC bond uh, dental adhesive interface. This is the same composition image of the flat surface processed with uh, FIB. This same image can observe MDP calcium salt and hybrid layer and silicon fillers in adhesive. Uh, this is a reconstructed 3D image in the movie. And rendering image of uh, MDP calcium salt.
Uh, the next is an image of the same observation of glass iron mass cement. The glass iron cement is Ketak universal. This is the same composition image of the flat surface processed with a cross section polisher. Enlarge the uh, central part. Uh, reaction layer was observed around the uh, fluoroaluminosilicate glass fillers. Observation by uh, stem is necessary for further observation with uh, high resolution and analysis. This is a bright field image, uh, stem bright field image of Ketak Universal Glass Anima Cement. Uh, reaction layer was observed around the fillers. Uh, many precipitates were observed uh, in some glass fillers. And this is a hard image of the same observation area. Uh, the same area was uh, elemental mapped using a EDX. The element map showed that the concentration of aluminum, uh, fluorine, uh, decreased from the reaction layer part of the glass fillers. However, uh, there was no decrease in the concentration of silicon in the reaction layer. Lanthanum and uh, fluorine are uh, detected in precipitates in the glass uh, fillers and it seems to be lanthanum fluoride. Now these are the stem hard images of the grass animal cement uh, sold by each company. The same area of uh, shelf glass animal cement, hard image was uh, element mapped using uh, EDX. The element map showed uh, that the concentration of aluminum, aluminum and fluorine and calcium are decreased from, uh, decreasing from the reaction layer part of the glass fillers. The, react, uh, the reason why the silicon uh, concentration of uh, reaction layer is uh, slightly increased uh, is uh, probably due to the shrinkage of uh, silica gel in the reaction layer due to drying. Precipitates were not observed in this glass uh, fillers of uh, shofu glass anima cement. <clears throat> uh, the same area of Ecolia Forte uh, st uh, stem Harif image were elemental mapped using IEDX. The element map showed that the concentration of aluminum and fluorine were decreased from the reaction layer part of the glass fillers. Lanthanum and uh, strontium and <coughs> fluorine mm. are detected in uh, pre uh, precipitates in the glass sphere. <coughs> And it seems to be lanthanum fluoride and strontium fluoride. 
chloride in the precipitate is stable. And it seems that fluorine uh, will not dissolve into the polymer matrix in the reaction. <clears throat> Now, this is a hard if image and elemental maps of Fuji 9 GP extra. The analysis results are the same as before. Uh, before. Okay. Now, this is the end of the presentation. Now, this presentation was supposed uh, by JSPS. I will introduce core operative researchers, uh, Dr. Yoshihara, Okayama University, and uh, Professor Yoshida, Hokkaido University, and uh, Dr. Hara Nimus. Uh, he is collaborator of 3D observation by FIB SEM. Uh, Dr. Yoshihara is in this room uh, civil president uh, in a post session. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Kara. Great presentation. Thank you so much for the great presentation. Uh, we are open now for questions. Make a question. Very easy one. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I was wondering about that ion cut so that you presented. I don't know. It's uh, a technique. Ion cut. Yes. Could you tell us how it works? Where it works? Uh, we were kind of discussing because we couldn't understand it uh, very much. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, ion slicer can polish a uh, specimen with argon ion beam. Mm. And, uh, this uh, is the mm. slice, the, uh, the slice of the... Slice, yes, yes. Okay. This is uh, uh, a shielding belt. Okay. And uh, so, uh, specimen width is uh, 0 0.1 millimeter. Okay. And shield plate width is... Uh, 10 microns. So uh, uh, argon ion beam uh, just, just uh, from uh, upper side of uh, ion slicer mm -hmm. and polish this area for both uh, angle t uh, tilting uh, ion argon ion gun. Okay. So uh, polish this area. Okay. And so yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, very nice presentation. So um, I'm very curious about uh, the 3D uh, uh, interface. So the, uh, you point out the uh, MDP calcium salt. So how to um, confirm the structure is the MDP calcium salt. How do you know that it's the MDP from that structure? <coughs> MDP calcium salt, uh, so the shape, uh, we observe uh, many specimens, so we you know uh, shape of uh, MDP calcium salt. So, uh, Usually, 
same, uh, this is the same compositional image of, uh, taken by Sam and uh, back scatter electrons. Uh, MDP calcium salt shape is usually like this. So, um, and uh, we observe another method like TEM and STEM. Uh, it uh, is the same shape of MDP calcium salt. And uh, in so is, is it possible to uh, analyze uh, elementary? Yes, yes. We analyzed uh, MDP calcium salt. Thank you very much. Anyone else? No? Everybody okay? So I'm going to ask Dr. Marcelo to come over here to give him the certificate. Thank you so much for the presentation and the images. They are wonderful. <laughs> Now the photos. Uh, Gabriel is preparing um, a message from a very special guest that couldn't be here but wish to uh, tell you something for the Japanese and Brazilian uh, doctors, researchers presenting here. So can we go? Okay. Here's a message from Ricardo Marins Carvalho. Hi, everybody. Uh, well, this is Rick here. I uh, appreciate that you're giving me this time to say hello to everybody down there. Uh, I wish I could be there. This is uh, certainly uh, uh, where I would like to be right now in this uh, gathering between Japan and Brazil. Congratulations, Marcelo. Congratulations uh, uh, for all the work you've done to put this together. I'm pretty sure Piracicaba is very happy that you were there and you brought this huge amount of uh, uh, excellent researchers and students to, to Piracicaba this uh, uh, weekend. So. Uh, uh, thank you for the time, and I just uh, would like to say hello to all of my friends from Japan and Brazil down there. Hope you have a good time and enjoy your time, and uh, uh, I'll see you soon, hopefully. Best in kisses for all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's live. It's live transmission. I didn't know that. <laughs> he actually can see you. <laughs> thank you so much, doctor. <laughs> So now uh, we have a little bit time for poster presentation uh, before we go to the, oh sorry, about dining, dining tonight. So uh, those who, who will be here, we are again invited to go to Villa Italia. Villa Italia is not as close as Montsou, but it's very easy to get there. Uh, about begins about 7:30. No, later. By seven. What time? Dinner. Seven. Really? Mm. Okay. <laughs> seven thirty. You know. Okay. <laughs> Beginning at seven thirty. Okay. And then uh, we have some time to uh, to check on the posters before the awards, so we can prepare the awards. So uh, I guess we can begin at six. Marcelo, six? Six, okay. So I see you back here in half hour, really. Thank you so much. But, oh yeah, these are the awards, okay? So if you can please say, Come on. Oh, just so you know, because they, they're telling me here, we have three, three awards for each category. 
okay? So please stay. Thank you. 